Number 5. Dragon for Super NES. Well, do you remember when I read the game text right in the beginning of the game? And that's that's weird. That, that's actually funny. I, I laugh out loud every time I watch the video. This game, there is no need to control the battles. That's weird. There are also weird texts that don't have a clear meaning. That's weird. Rooms that drain your HP. That's weird. What does heck heck mean? They say every time in the game, fighting against something that remains unborn. <laughs> and what's that? Fighting against rocks. That's funny. Things that look like fingers. And finally, castles that look bigger inside than outside. That's weird. Four elements form the universe. Two poles govern the, these elements. These eight principles proceed from all. All is as the phoenix. Metraton Ultimate Magus. You don't have to control the, the, the battle, so you, you just have to wait for the battle end and uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty weird, you know. The colors of hope is not always the sign of goodness. I have no idea what, what, what does it mean. But I don't know why this room drains me all the health, health power and uh, I have to leave this room as fast as I can. What does that mean? Heck, heck. Don't ask me. <laughs> okay. And he just tells us where we are. I think, he, I think it's not trying to kill me, it's just running randomly. It's a boss? There is a bug? I don't know. A big fireplace is in the at the far end something in the body. Uh, I actually can see what what's that thing but Where am I? Where am I? Oh here. It's not dying. It just <laughs> I think that I think I think that I need a light for this. If you want to have a baby there. Um, I need a... Yeah, I need a torch or, or something. Because I can't see anything. There, a torch. Okay. Yeah, now I can see it. it and it's... And what the hell is that? I think the... I think the coal is just trying to kill me, but come on, it's just coal! Okay, another coal to kill. It can't die! I don't think it's gonna die there. Oh. Okay! I have no idea what just happened, but... Uh, the other didn't die, but this one died. Uh, why? No idea. Okay, now the rock was trying to kill me. Okay. I it didn't even have a chance. Uh, it yeah, died. But it tried to kill me anyway. No, I don't know. It tried. You know, uh, fighting with rocks, it reminds me of High Light for the NES. Okay, now the door is open. And, uh, and what are those? Are those like fingers? Yeah. Coming out of the ground. I, I don't know, but I think they're actually bags for something, but they sure look like fingers. <laughs> sure. It's a huge cast on them. It doesn't look that big on the outside. Number 4 Dick Tracy for NES. Well, Dick Tracy is funny from the beginning to the end of the video. Like using the first aid kit by pressing select and B, and that's weird. Using the super punch makes the enemies dance the cha cha cha. That's that's funny. An annoying thing in this game is you can't use a regular punch when you are using a super punch. You can't use a first aid kit in the middle of the road. That's weird. 
You can shoot an armored thugs or you lose health, but you can shoot or punch armored thugs and killing thugs by punching them in their feet, and that's funny. So watch the video. to know this is like reading the instruction manual or I don't know because I don't have the instruction manual for this game and they still learn to know to know how to how to use a first aid kit. Inside the buildings you have lots of thugs to kill but be careful some some of the thugs are unarmed which means you can't kill unarmed thugs using guns. Alright so now I got a super punch and apparently I can make this guy's dance the cha 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah and somehow Somehow this kills other people. Yeah. And they will spin forever until they go to the corner of the screen so they will disappear and not appear anymore. Yeah, but that's kinda annoying because I always lose a super punch whether I give them. Even if you don't want to use a super punch, you have to use two because for use a regular punch you have to waste all your super punches. Oh don't you have a first aid kit? Uh I guess so but you have to enter a building to use a first aid kit, so... Oh yeah, right. So okay. if, I'm, uh, if I'm in the middle of the road, I can't do this. Yeah, that's that's ridiculous. This is ridiculous. You can't shoot thugs that are not unarmed, or else you're gonna take half damage. But you can't punch armed thugs. I don't know, it doesn't make sense. The movie isn't like that at all. So... <laughs> yeah, that's a movie. Movies have, have to be more realistic than the video game counter counterparts. So, yeah. Yeah, either that or it's an Nintendo censorship bullshit or something. Yeah, I don't know. Nobody knows actually. Okay, look how I'm gonna kill this guy. I'm gonna kill him by punching him the food. <laughs> that, that's, that's weird. Have you tried to kill someone by punching him at the feet? No. I wouldn't think that would work. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's weird. Number 3 The Bronze Metal goes to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 The Arcade Game for NES The gameplay feels good and it's funny I'm, And I'm only thinking this game is Getting an extra life every 200 points and not every 100 points A very funny thing that I always laugh when I watch is uh, When I say that there are some enemies using sledgehammers And I use a dramatic voice but that, that's funny, that's the point. Very annoying boss in this game is Baxter because he doesn't try to kill you. He drops some Mausers so you can so you have to kill the Mausers so you can kill it, so you can kill Baxter and that's that's annoying. Well scene three is, is a cool level from the beginning to the end. And also the boss is funny and it's hard to kill it. Well on scene five I think that you remember a part that there is zero strategy. And part is the laser part where you don't have to jump on the laser because you just have to to can jump from the ledge so so you can avoid all the lasers and the enemies and that's that's ridiculously easy I don't know why they did why did they do this in the game that's weird in this level there is also some robots that can cause a sure massacre they can kill you easily killing Lieutenant Granitor. That's that's funny and hard. Well, in the Nietzsche level, I think you'll remember when the bamboos come out of the ground, you have just to jump and avoid. But you have you must have the perfect timing, or you will die. Some tigers coming out of the wall, and that's that's actually a cool feature in this game. When I tried to kill Shogun Warrior, and that's that's funny because I died and I had a game over. Well, so watch number three, the Ninja Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. The arcade game for NES. Yay, I got extra life. But why do I get extra life every 200 points that I make? Why not extra life every 100 points? I guess it's to make the game harder. Yeah, that's what I think. Now be careful with those purple foot soldiers. They have a hidden weapon. They have sledgehammers. Well, not so hidden and also not so dramatic as I, as I said, but 
Every time the heat is let hammer at you, it takes you one or two points of your health and that's no good for you, right? This is the third boss of the game. It's Baxter, the most annoying boss in the whole game. Sure he is. And Baxter doesn't try to kill you. He drops Mauser so the Mauser steal you for him. And this, that's the most annoying task in, the, in this boss. Kill the Mauser so you can kill Baxter. Die! Yeah! Boo! Scene 3. Let's melt snow and rebuild New York City. This is a new level compared to the original arcade game because it's the first part of scene 3 on the original arcade game. In this level there are also new enemies and a new boss, Tara, which throws ice blocks and whatever you do, don't, do not get too close to him, because he will try to punch you to death. In this part of scene 5, there is zero strategy to avoid lasers, just stay in the ledge and beat the foot soldiers. Pretty easy, right? Take that, foot soldier! Now what? Robots falling from the sky? Huh, <laughs> come on! I thought there was a pizza falling from the sky. Killing those robots is very easy since you don't let their legs appear. Because if their legs appear, they will start shooting. And if they start shooting, it's a, sh it's a sure massacre. Oh look! Splinter tied up on the wall. Oh save him. Oh no, it's the real boss of Sin 5, Lieutenant Granitor. Killing its boss is endurance. You cannot get too close to him or he kicks you to death and the only strategy that works well in this boss is the jump kick. Just jump kicking several times and he is dead. Die Lieutenant Granitor! Boom! <laughs> now you have to be really careful here because every time you try to cross this area those bamboos will appear from the ground and hit you. And there is only one way to cross this area. Just jump, jump, jump and don't stop the jump. Because if you stop, you will get hit and it will take you one or two health points. And that's not cool, right? Oh, what's that? The tiger is coming out from the wall. Oh, what do I do now? Die! Come here. Yeah, I did hit it. It's kinda hard to kill those tigers because they will keep running and running. So there is only one way to kill those tigers. You just have to face the tigers and hit them. I repeat the process several times and the tigers are dead. This is the first one. That's the second one. Yay, I killed those tigers. This is Shogun Warrior, the boss of scene 6. He throws his head and his head starts flying but his head is not a target. You just have to avoid his head and try to kill him. Yeah, die you Shogun Warrior, get out of here you flying head. Yeah. No. Oh, game over, man.